This is a quick article on how you can use a PS3 controller to control your PC. So here's Richard chatting with our founder Mick. Because of his range of movement, he can't use a standard glide pad or mouse. But with his arms well supported, he's able to hold and use a PS3 controller well. So the program we use to get him using his PS3 controller on his PC is Motion Enjoy. You can download this off the internet for free. So the first thing you need to do with this program is to plug your PS3 controller into one of the USB ports on your PC. Motion Enjoy should then recognize that the controller is connected. Then what you need to do is click on Driver Manager and select and load the recommended driver. Next thing on the Profiles page, you need to select Custom Stroke Default Setup and then go into Create next to it. Now that you're here, you can map the buttons on the controller to act like keyboard presses or inputs on a mouse. If you want the left analog stick to act like the movement of a mouse, you need to find where it says left stick X plus, left stick X Y, Y plus and Y minus and change them all to mouse inputs. Then you need to change X plus to right, X minus to left, Y plus to down and Y minus to up. Then when you go into profiles and click the big pink enable button, you should be able to move the left stick around and it control the cursor like a mouse. If you want to adjust the speed of the cursor, if you go into options and change the mouse cursor speed, then click save changes. Also here you have the auto run option, but sadly I've been unable to get this to work. As Richard can't use a standard keyboard, he's using WizKeys. WizKeys, amongst other things, is a great on-screen keyboard because you can customise it by changing its size, position and colour, and it's also predictive in quite a few languages. One great thing about the predictive element in WizKeys is that it will learn words that it doesn't recognise. So if you use a word often that it doesn't recognise, it will learn it and suggest it in the future. Another great thing that it does is that it provides you with a dwell click. So when you select this on the keyboard and then you hover on any area of the screen, it can act like clicks on a mouse button. Which is really handy for Richard as it means that it doesn't need to keep pressing buttons on his controller to select things. Through these two programs, Richard is able to access his computer in a way that he wouldn't be able to otherwise. If you have any questions at all, just email gavin at specialeffect.org.uk.